Welcome to Management TV. Today we are with William Urey from the Harvard Business School, a specialist in negotiation. Welcome, Bill. How are you? It's a pleasure, Eduardo. Pleasure to be here. Tell us when and how you started to study negotiations. Well, about 30 years ago when I was in graduate school, I was actually studying anthropology, which is, you know, the study of human behavior. And I was interested in conflict. And one of the best ways of handling conflict, of course, if you want to resolve it, is through negotiation. And so I got interested in negotiation, you know, how do we resolve, how do we solve the conflicts in the Middle East to how do we deal with labor management conflicts and, and industrial disputes to how do you deal with your neighbors and your roommates and your family and, and negotiation really cuts across all those do domains. When did you write your first book? Yeah, I wrote my first book uh, 25 years ago. Uh, it came out 25 years ago, Getting to Yes, co-authored with Roger Fisher. And uh, it was about, you know, how do you, how do you, how do you get to yes? How do you cooperate? How, what's the dance that you dance together when you've got a difficulty or an issue or you want to reach agreement? How do you, how do you make a deal? What's the process? What are the steps? What are the dance steps? What are they? Well, the key processes, the key the, steps to yeah. reach a yes. Well, the key one to me, one of the key ones, is to start with yourself. Because okay. I think ourselves, we may be the biggest barrier to success in negotiation. Because human beings were reaction machines. And when angry, you will make the best speech you will ever regret. And so, first thing is, I, I use the metaphor of go to the balcony, which is take a step back from the negotiation. Take a, a step back from the situation. Like go to a balcony overlooking the stage to kind of get a... Keep your eyes on the prize. See what's important there. What's, what's, what, what, what do you really care about in the negotiation? Because that's what's so easy to lose sight of. Once you go to the balcony, then you step to the other person's side. You put yourself in their shoes. Understand the way they see it. What's concerning them? What's driving them? Try to under, understand them because you're trying to influence them. Understand what your interests are. Understand what their interests are. And then look for a solution that can meet both sides' interests. What was your second book about? Second book, well, the, probably the most frequent question I got about the first book was, oh yeah, but how do you get to yes if the other side says no? I okay. mean, what if they're not interested in negotiation? What if they're not interested in cooperation? How do you deal with someone who's emotional or very rigid, refuses to, to even engage in negotiation? Or how do you deal with someone who uses dirty tricks? And 